How to crop an image into a circle in Affinity Designer. In this short video, I will show you how to crop an image into a circle in Affinity Designer. First, select your image. Now take an ellipse tool. Hold a shift key create a circle. Take a move to and adjust and reposition. Decrease its opacity and check the position. After that, select the image layer, drag it to the circle layer, and place it slightly on the left side as a clipping mask. Now go to FX. Use some outline or outer shadow. Now export this image in a PNG transparent format. If you found this video helpful, then watch the next video that appears on your screen, you will enjoy it. In this short video, I will show you how you can change the RGB to CMYK print format on Affinity Designer. First, select your image, then go to File, Document Setup. Now here, type should be print. And main part. Here, click color. And change color format to CMYK. Now please note once you change the image RGB to CMYK, it will look a little bit washed out. It is natural. And this is because the RGB scheme has a greater range of colors, CMYK cannot produce brighter colors. These hues are beyond the CMYK range and will come out darker and more washed out when printed than what you see on your digital display. To know the complete RGB to CMYK difference in details, you can check out this video. Link in the description. Now I am changing this image from RGB to CMYK print format. Click CMYK and OK. Now, if you undo and redo, you can see the color changes from RGB to CMYK. Like this, you can convert the RGB to CMYK for print format on Affinity Designer. Now to set a PDF password lock, go to the above menu file. Export here. The export setting changed to PDF format. And scroll down and check required password to open. You can also check the box for required password for modification and printing. Here, enter both password. And export your work as a PDF with password protection. Now here double click to open your PDF and enter your password. If you entered incorrectly, then this PDF will not open. You can secure your a confidential work project or any PDF document with a password lock and only the person who has the password to access this PDF and open it. And that's it. I hope you find this short video useful. In this video, I will show you how to add patterns on Clothing Affinity Designer 2. First, select your image. Now take the Selection Brush tool and select the area you need to add a pattern or graphic.
After selection, if everything is OK, then go to Refine and and keep output as a new layer. Now bring your pattern image or graphic image and make some adjustments and repositions. After that, put this layer slightly on the right side as a clipping mask, like this. This now changes the blending mode to multiply. Optional, if you need it, you can reduce its opacity. Now, to export this image, go to File, Export. If you found this video helpful, then watch the next video that appears on your screen, you will enjoy it. In this video, I will show you how to outline a PNG in Affinity Designer 2. First, select your image. Now here, on the left sidebar, you will not find any removal tools. So, here, go to the above menu and change the dashboard to Pixel Persona. Now you can see all the removal tools in Affinity Designer 2. I have uploaded many videos on this topic in detail. You can check out this playlist. Link in the description. Here I am using the Flood Select tool. Click on it and click on the white solid background like this. Then hit Delete from your keyboard. Now go to Quick FX or Below FX. Use Outline. Pick your color. And increase outline radius like this. Now, to export this image with a transparent PNG background in Affinity Designer 2. Go to File. Export. Here, select the PNG format and export it. If you found this video helpful, then watch the next video that appears on your screen, you will enjoy it. Also, check out the amazing video playlist organized on this channel. Please leave your useful likes, shares, and comments. Subscribe to this channel. See you again.